All right, guys, good morning. We're here today for another episode. Just kidding. More like a vlog. We haven't done one of these in a while. So we have a cool event today. We're going to a provincial powerlifting contest. And so what we're doing is we're providing meals for the volunteers, um, including judges, the people who are helping rack the weights, unrack the weights. And so we're going to do a little journey with anything from packing the boxes all the way to delivering the meals and then having a quick interview uh, with Arshia, who's been my friend since junior high. And uh, now we're working together, uh, you know, 15 years later. So first of all, we have to get rid of our uh, table. That's our toaster table. And I'm gonna be taking this and putting it in the van. Oh, yep, there we go. Getting a good day's work in. All right. So Mark behind the camera today helping out. He's gonna be helping me load and unload all the meals and also film all this fun content. Okay, so um, on Fridays, none of our staff, or none of our production staff are actually in. So it's gonna be Grace and I um, packaging all the meals. So we're gonna take you through there, show you how that's done. And then, uh, yeah, just follow me. All right, guys, so as we come into the kitchen now, we have our lab coats, which we're gonna put on. Uh, these are what we wear basically when we're in the fridge. So then that way we can have our outside clothes, like warmer clothes, like jackets and stuff, while we're in the two degree temperature. And then have this over top just for food safety reasons. As you can see, I don't really use it myself, so I don't know how to really know how it works. There we go. Let me see. Let me show you putting it on, Mark. See if you do a better job. Oh wow, it looks great. Does it look like a doctor? Kind of. All right, now that we're dressed, we can go in and help Grace. Um, basically, in our cold room, our fridge. So here's Grace. We're just labeling the meals right now. Um, we chose five varieties for this event. So as you'll notice on our meals, uh, we have the, well, this would be the name of the, the actual customer, but in this scenario, it is the powerlifting provincial tournament and the meal name. We love offering this just because it gives it a personal feel. So everyone who gets their meals has their name on it. And if you put it in your fridge at work, no one's gonna steal it. This is the uh, lead by example right here um, if we were working with open food product we would also be wearing gloves and hair nets but since these are already packaged um, I did wash my hands behind the scenes so then you'll be able to see that we're just gonna put the stickers on right now all right finally back in the warmth um, we're gonna head in the van we're gonna just quickly get it down to temperature because the, the van is actually refrigerated and that's why you didn't see us put ice packs or insulation in the boxes because we're going to keep it at a food safe, food safe temperature the whole time. So we're going to grab the van, drive around to the loading dock and then actually load up the, the cooked food product and then we're going to get the camera mounted for the time lapse we're going to do on the way to kind of give it a more cinematic effect. Okay, perfect. So for the meals for the uh, volunteers this week, we have the red Thai curry um, chicken. This has zucchini, rice, and five ounces of chicken. We also have the Thai basil beef bowl, which is like very similar to our hoisin beef bowl, but it's a little bit different. The sauce is just slightly different and less uh, calorie intensive. So this here is one of the crowd favorites. We also have another chicken dish, which is pesto penne. Uh, we picked mostly chicken just because that's what uh, most people will eat. Some people don't eat red meat. However, we do have also a turkey dish as well, which is obviously also poultry. We have an unstuffed pepper. Um, it does have dairy in it with the side of cheese. However, it can be dairy free if you choose not to use it. And then from the last but not least, we have the Mediterranean quinoa salad. So we have two options here, both for the vegetarian with falafel. And then again, another chicken as well. They all have five ounces of chicken half a cup of carbs and a full cup of vegetables. That's kind of how we um, design all of our meals. And so now all I'm gonna do is unload these into the two fridges here. And then whatever we don't have room for, we're gonna take back to our facility. And then we're gonna bring the rest back tomorrow. So it should be fun. And uh, the volunteers will be well fed. Okay, 
We're back with day two with the Alberta Powerlifting Provincial Championships. And uh, this is Arshia who I was kind of mentioning to you guys yesterday. He's the guy who's or organizing it, so I kind of wanted to bring him on board. I'm one of the organizers. There's, one of them. there's yeah, there's three more of us. So I want to introduce him quickly and then ask him a couple of questions so that you guys can learn more about an event like this and if you want to get involved uh, with powerlifting. Uh, so first of all, I want to just ask him about himself a little bit. He got back from a big trip, so can you give us a bit more information of where you were and what you were doing? Yeah, so I was at the Bench Press World Championships in South Africa and yeah, I was representing Team Canada at the 120 kg weight class category and it was the equipped category. So that's with the bench shirt. Yeah, cool. and I placed fifth. Awesome. Yeah. So when he's not doing his own powerlifting, he's organizing events like this. And this is one of the few that we've done. We've worked together in the past. He also has another event called the Grand Lift Open, which we were doing just last month. Yeah. So it's been kind of a hectic few months for this guy organizing things, but he always manages to pull it off. Um, so can you walk us through like the three days of this event? Um, yeah, so the first day started out with the uh, Masters, and then today is going to be like pretty much the big day. Um, we got like the open categories, and then tomorrow we got some more opens, and then we're going to round things off with uh, the bench only. So that's going to be just bench press. What's open? Uh, so the open is 20. You can register as open uh, after whenever, really, but it's junior is 18 to 23, and then Open is 23 to 40, and then we got M1, 40 to 50, M2, 50 to 60, and so on. Perfect. And then, yeah, we also have sub juniors, which is below 18, and then we also have a new youth category too, which is super awesome. So the sport is really growing, man, and yeah, I'm really happy to just be a part of it. Um, I remember back when I started, events like this would take months to fill up but now meets are selling out in minutes so just the amount of pool that we have is amazing to see and it's really cool to be a part of it and so like how does the workflow here work so from in the morning people are training behind the scenes they're kind of doing some practice lifts and then they're on the actual stage or how does that work so usually it takes there's a lot that goes into it, like just doing three lifts right people people train for sometimes years just for this day and like the total sum of time that you get on the platform might be five ten minutes total but it takes there's a lot of time that goes into just seeing that one big lift so yeah so how do you get this is a provincial event so how do you qualify for provincials um so there's a qualifying total for each weight class that you have to hit so you would do a local meet like the grand lift open we have a lot of new lifters that do that meet and if you hit your qualifier it's different for each weight class you get to come to the provincial championships and then from there you could go to westerns from westerns you go to nationals and world championships yeah, perfect. so then on a weekend like this this is obviously the alberta provincials yeah. um what's the turnout like how many people are how many athletes and how many spectators are going to be here today uh we had or maybe, or maybe over the course of the whole weekend because different categories yeah we had over 220 athletes sign up and each athlete usually has one handler for uh, the raw category and you can have two for equipped and bring out whoever you want, your family, friends. So it's so pretty packed. So could over a thousand people this weekend? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe like if, if it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A thousand people. Yeah. It's a big event. Yeah. So yeah. Good. All right. So after yeah. a quick cut, we had a little bit of a storage issue. I uh, just want to just sign off and say thank you to both Evolve Seton. Uh, they're the ones who were hosting the uh, provincial event and then before awesome that involved uh, Sunridge. So huge shout out to them. But again, thanks to our Shia for bringing us on board yeah. uh, here. We've been kind of growing together uh, in our businesses separately and it's kind of nice to come together and collaborate. So Yeah, you guys were there for the first one and if we could keep continuing to grow the sport together, that'd be awesome and ask for more. Okay, cool. Thanks guys. Yeah, take care guys.